Problems is Andrew Kozak joins us now. He's in for Bill. Okay, yeah. so but we're also talking about Christmas. That's right. A week, a week That's right. ahead. Well, lucky for you, I have a graphic <laughs> up that shows us the statistical chance yeah, because of a white Christmas. Yes, okay. So there it is. The statistical chance shows that we've got like 10, 20 percent. But this year... Statistical. Not a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance. In fact, believe it or not, the warmest day out of the next seven is going to be Christmas. Wow. So, mm. yeah, just to give you a sneak okay. peek of what's happening. All right, so let's start off first with the one other flood warning that we were tracking. This one until 745 for Atlantic County. That is going to be out of the way. And eventually, as we talked about, the flood waters are going to recede. Just got to give it a little bit of time. Obviously, we had several inches of rain in a very short window of time, which is why we had all that flooding. Flash flooding and a lot of issues overnight and into this morning. Radar, a completely different picture from where it was yesterday at this time. What a nice difference just less than 24 hours makes. This is what it looks like in Longport right now. Not so bad across the shore. The city looking good as well. It is chilly. If you remember, if you were out even for most of the day today, we were in the 50s and 60s. Our high temperature today was 62 degrees, and that was right after midnight. We're down to 49, which, believe it or not, is still a few degrees above where we should be for this time of year. Wind still gusting, 22, even up to 30 miles per hour. And that's why it feels like the low 40s. It's going to be kind of a blustery, gusty evening up ahead. 46 in Wilmington, 44 in Reading, 47 in Atlantic City, and 46 in Trenton right now. 36 Mount Pocono. Our totals for rain, pretty impressive. Three inches in the city. 3.01 if you want to get technical. May's Landing 4.7 and over five and a half inches in portions of PA. Stockley, Delaware 5.52. Again, these are impressive numbers and these are also impressive numbers. The wind gusts over 60 miles per hour. Seaside Heights, Brigantine, Atlantic City around 52. Ocean City 49. Again, we'll still be breezy overnight. We're still looking at gusts anywhere between 30 and 40 miles per hour, but those will start to subside toward the morning. Overnight low in the city, 35 degrees. It'll be windy, turning colder, and yes, there could, could be a stray flurry. The better chance for that is going to be overnight to the north, especially across the Lehigh Valley. But if you see a flake flying overnight, don't be surprised. In the meantime, as we get closer to the early part of the morning on your Tuesday, this is going to be the best chance of where we'll see a couple of rogue snowflakes over toward Carbon, Monroe counties, and that's where we can have a little bit of a dusting. Other than that, let me move the map up a little bit. We'll have clear to partly cloudy skies into your Tuesday morning. Now, other than a little deck of cloud cover, I call it post frontal grunge that comes in for the mid to late morning and early afternoon, we're going to clear things out. And then we're going to be back into full sunshine. So your Tuesday looking nice and clear. Wednesday, once again, you wake up, sunglasses on, sun visors down for that commute. And we continue that all the way through the end of the week. In fact, we're really starting to see a much drier and quieter pattern coming our way. One thing I do want to talk about, though, the feels like temperatures, the winds, the cold on your skin. It's going to feel like the low, middle, and upper 20s tomorrow morning. So bundle up, dress accordingly. And even for the afternoon, at its peak, we may still only feel like we're below freezing. Tomorrow, 41 in the city, the shore 42, and 39 in the Lehigh Valley with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Here's that seven-day forecast. We get into Wednesday and Thursday, full sunshine. Friday, partly cloudy. Saturday, 43, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Christmas Eve, looking really good, 47. And there's why we don't have a chance to get a white Christmas. 51 mm. degrees on Monday, but at least we'll be celebrating without any issues across mm -hmm. the area in weather. Guys, back to you.